Today, we're headed to America's largest RV show in Hershey, Pennsylvania to walk over 36 football field lengths of this year's newest RVs. But also, we are on a mission to find my mom her dream RV. Well, her dream trailer or RV or camper, all within a reasonable budget. It's pretty easy to find a dream RV. Finding one in a good budget, that is the real challenge. I'm so excited! <laughs> this morning, we walked in so pumped with a list of expectations, what we were looking for, and while well, we left with something completely different. Rise and shine. So what did she think she wanted? A camper that drives, not a trailer, until we saw the price difference and then quickly changed our minds. Something with a nice kitchen and a bathroom, but also a nice space to relax after hiking, play a game of cards at a table, but also work well for visiting national parks, but also for tailgating college soccer games in winter for a specific someone who basically got a full ride to be a D1 athlete. Easy, breezy, beautiful, cover girl. Yeah. But I guess with budget being a priority, we should have known better than to walk anywhere near Airstream's booths. $220. Two twenty. That's the price? <laughs> this all reminded me very quickly why I'm building my own van. Angel is literally allergic to these prices. But also, none of us really liked the vans that much. My mom didn't think there was enough trunk storage, and well, Angel has never been one for realistic expectations. Oh my god, oh, mom doesn't have a guest room. There's a scratch. How much money can we get off of it? Uh, let's say we get it down to 15k. 15k? This is kind of... These are all airstream. We should get So yeah, we tried to make a hasty escape out of there. But before we left, we learned their $50,000 trailer comes with an AC, but not even enough battery to power it. So you'd have to spend even more money for the basics to even get these things working. But overall, I think the Airstream, you're just paying for the name. And I personally didn't see what about that tiny trailer was worth almost the full price of what I sold my last camper van for. But it's okay, we have a lot to learn. For example, we were starting to realize that we were going to have to go with a pool trailer, not a van or a driving camper because dang, do prices literally jump $200,000 when you add the driving component? But that does not stop Angel from shopping around for a future tour bus for when she's a rock star, but we'll just have to wave at the big fancy ones from afar as we walk to this $14,000 small one. How we doing? Good, how are you? How they get you, the put the 58 real big. I was like, oh my gosh, that's a steal. This was one we really ended up considering in the end. It's the Forest River Aurora Light 13BHX, and it was $13,000 with an AC, a huge awning, solar prep with a walkable roof, and a 10 cubic foot fridge, two beds that convert into a table and benches. The Kool-Aid Bandit might have gotten here. So, the Kool-Aid Bandit, <sighs> yeah. How do I explain this? Well, we, we were convinced that some little kid must have been running around just spilling their Kool-Aid down all the sinks because every sink had this red liquid down it. And I mean, that was the only reasonable explanation we could think of at the time, but um, we do later on identify the Kool-Aid Bandit. So don't worry, the Kool-Aid Bandit is eventually caught. Despite my mom doing really good right now looking at the budget campers, 
I can feel like a little devil on my shoulder trying to pull me into the fancy mansions. But actually, my mom really liked this trailer, so we mark it for later, but for now I have to go stop Angel from making every RV her tour bus. But even this one wasn't free from the work of the Kool-Aid Bandit. Oh no! Oh no! Oh no! Oh yeah! The Kool-Aid Bandit? Question mark? You know, I noticed the Kool-Aid Bandit seems to be wherever you are. Could it be that Angel is the Kool-Aid Bandit? <laughs> so the next trailer we found that we really liked and considered was this $16,000 17-square-foot by Forest River in their Viking RV 3K series. It weighs under 3,000 pounds and is towable by a Jeep, minivan, or small SUV. The exterior height is 10 feet and the width is 7 feet wide. It sleeps 2 to 3, has a power awning, 20k VTU furnace and heat pump via AC, and it also has 27 gallons of each fresh, gray, and black water. Wow, the bathroom, you can give everyone a show with the bathroom. Definitely a door there, but I just feel a little bit like... Visualizing. So the button on the fridge is on the top and Earlier that day. I think they locked the fridges. Where? I see the sink. Oh! It's the antifreeze! It's the people, it is the anti you're right. It's the <laughs> The doctorate comes in handy. She can't open fridges, but she can figure out who the Kool-Aid bandit is. It's the antifreeze. Stops the pipes from freezing in the winter. Of course, we're in the summer, which is why we're thinking. Yeah, it's like 85, 90 degrees. I feel kind of cheated. I'm not gonna lie. You know, I felt like we were kind of running our own investigation, if you will. Um, but now learning that it's, you know, kind of just not special and no one cares, it's just, it's, it hurts. It hurts. The table goes down, definitely would. But look at the quality of this one. Yeah, why is this, why is this good like that? I don't want to have to worry about. I could replace that though. See, every time I look at something, I'm like, Victoria can Victoria fix that. Can fix that. <laughs> Or just put them on an angle. <laughs> yeah, get real comfy. Yeah. Oh, that is good. Yeah. That'll fit Angel. Perfect. Michael would have to be bent. You can just go on an angle. That's okay. No, or we, we could do bent. another one of the things that lift up there so you can get extra room. There's also a leash link on the outside so your dog can pull the trailer instead of your car. Or or so you can attach your dog to it so it doesn't run away. I'm not actually sure. About two trailers down is this $18,000 trailer by the same company. Now we're looking bigger. And honestly, we aren't a huge fan of the bunk beds though. We considered building the bottom one into a storage spot for a kayak or paddleboard or e-bike. So clearly this was the perfect time for a stealth mission. We're actually in here so she can. Well, call my dad, not an alien species, but you know, probably not that different. Shut up. 
shout out to Angel, who's very clearly exhausted, who had no idea she was coming until we were literally on the drive here, and actually just played an entire soccer game this morning, and also has no interest in RVs, so gold star for her for putting up with our just love for RVs. So this trailer is the $21,000 version of the previous trailers, same company, they just keep getting a little bigger and bigger. And I really loved this counter with the window view. I wish I could have this in my van. I just really hate unprotected windows. It's such an easy way to break in or lose temperature regulation. And it's not as realistic, in my opinion, for stealth full-time van life, but it is just so pretty. Wow. No composting, no water, no plumbing. Caramels, that is our promise as president. <laughs> never touch your poop again. <laughs> how, how, I've never touched my poop, so I'm gonna, hi, this is what I wanted to see. This is what I have in the garage that I just got. Oh, is it two layer? Let me know if I, I don't get even know what I got. I actually just bought this one. <laughs> it's in my garage. Then you know. Yeah. <laughs> you teach me. I used to have that one. <laughs> oh, you have the 45? Yeah. Cool. Then I wanted a freezer. Oh, yeah. Absolutely. So I get it. Are these different than these? So they are a little. So these are like the premium and these are like the good. Hello. The biggest difference with these ones versus those is you see how these coils are wrapped around here and yeah, not up here. This part's only chilled by the airflow from here. Gotcha. As those, these wrap all. The but these are around. cheaper, probably. Yes, and the display on these ones are as fancy as that one. Gotcha. So I got the good one. Yes. Got it. I mean, these are great, but those are definitely the premium. Yeah. How many poop caramels did you take? How many in my basket? You guys want to check out this building? Sure. Please, come on in. Thanks. Okay. Well, those are the national parks. Ooh. Yeah. <laughs> if you haven't touched all of them yet. I love the table. So we're a custom builder out of 10 years. So I got an indoor shower right here that's going to open nice. up, connect up to the roof. I got another outdoor shower if you're getting dirty outside. I got a huge crazy battery system on this thing. How much you got? I got 270 amp hours at 48. So okay. about 1,080 amp hours total if it were at 12. This is sick. It's very nice. Super clean. All right, now back to the budget trailers. I'm sorry, I just, I can't help myself when I see cool vans. But this one is a Shashta 16RE for $15,000 and can be financed for $5 a day or $150 a month. I'm glad I'm videoing all these so we can look at them later. I know, so let me say to Dad. Mm. <laughs> I hope we're all just making the same sound effects. Okay. I 
like this one. Oh, this has everything, but it's smaller. Can I open this? This right here, ladies and gentlemen, is why the difference between can and may is very important. Victoria dropped out of college, and she can't figure out how to make a window blind work. I need Angel's help. All right, so a two-stone burner, microwave, refrigerator, freezer, and then shower. You got the window with the table, which to me is, I love that. Yes, because my view is here, so I can sit here and relax. Here she comes, your favorite RV and camping influencer. If dad stood in that shower, would his head hit the roof? Oh, maybe that's why it's vented. I'm 5'10", and you've got that much space, so you've got a few more inches. That one. Yeah, work. you would definitely hit. Well, I mean, I'm wearing shoes, but still. <laughs> Free stuff. But yeah, I mean. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I don't know. I think that might be too tall for him. Too short. Yeah, I don't know that you That was a good thing to realize, that. yeah. Now we need to go back to every van we've looked at so far and recheck the height of the showers. Only because you have to step into all of them. Good catch. This goes out. Oh, so it can go in. Yeah. Wow. This is honestly bigger. like the smallest size this way that I've seen do that. I feel like all the ones we've been looking at don't do that. It's also 10,000 more. Do you like it $10,000 more? I will tell you though, if this is really a point for you, you could literally get a table and just set this up. I feel like we've been in this one. This is the original one you liked. No, it's like it though.
I feel like a lot of things that I cook have to be the freezer, like vegetables or... I wonder if I could get one of those units and put it up here just as a kind of freezer. I feel like I don't need a mirror here. You know what I mean? Like I don't need to That's stand up from the bathroom and then stare at myself or come out of the... Sh like I need to put my makeup on. So like a fold out table here or like a little box, attaching a box to the wall here. That way I can actually use this mirror. I'm gonna design RVs. I have a new job. <laughs> No freezer, no table. Didn't make the cut. <laughs> it's got your outside table you like though. Maybe storage. Just the outside table is actually $10,000. Oh, that's storage. It's storage, but it's also access to. So if you're laying in bed and you just want some fresh air. Oh, it's got a window on it and everything. Hmm. Gotta make But I feel like most benches were only seating for two people. Yeah. This is like all, all four of us could sit here. Because there's room for two more people to sleep here. And my guess is this. Got your freezer? No free ice cream, but we'll work on it. I like that they have things in the bathroom now. I don't feel like I'm just... Well, because it's a bigger bathroom. <laughs> you just don't need the beds, though, is the problem. Like, the larger table without the double beds. You gotta buy it right now. We can't wait. It's a risk. Well, that's how you get your 10,000 discount. Wow, now you can get a pretty big discount on these shows. And this RV is perfect for someone who likes to go with the view, or give others a view, or if you're like my cat and lay bombs and need a lot of ventilation to air it out, maybe it's perfect for that too, uh, yeah. Anyway, back to the unreasonably priced tour buses for an AC break. <laughs> All the time. Actually, that's kind of crazy. I like it. <laughs> Taught us well. <laughs> it's a nice ice freezer. Lots of ice cream. Lots of ice cream. That's what we like to hear. All right. Anyone want to give us a million dollars so we can get this one? <laughs> I'll call him Squishy and he shall be mine. And he shall be my Squishy. Come here, Squishy. Come here, little Squishy. Come here, little Squishy. For the thousands in attendance and the millions watching around the world, ladies and gentlemen, uh, let's get ready to rumble! Hey, Elmo! Something crashed!
where the hose is hanging, I noticed in the other one was higher as well. And finally, we found the Coleman section at Camping World. And while they were the cheapest prices we had seen all day, they were just made very cheaply. And just another example of you get what you pay for. We didn't like any of these, but that also could have just been that we were exhausted and it was the end of the day and this was the last section we got to. They seemed to actually just be all the same basic build style, but after seeing those really well-made, handcrafted style Nobu trailers, these just felt quick with no thought, the shelves didn't have doors, the wood felt thin and was actually not even wood, just veneers. It's definitely hard to go from the nicer, more expensive to this, but if you are looking for even more budget options, these would definitely be the way to go. And I wish we had started here, but alas, we can't change that now. And with that, it was the end of the day at America's largest RV show here in Hershey, PA, and we have a lot to think about and consider. We also have a much better understanding of what kind of trailer, RV, or camper she's looking for now, and I even got some ideas for my van build, so I would definitely call today a success even though we are not walking away with an RV or trailer today. How do you feel, Mom? Hopeful? Hopeful? It's only like 20 that I've narrowed it down to. <laughs> All right, that's it for today's vlog. I hope you enjoyed seeing lots of RVs and hopefully maybe in the next vlog we'll buy one. I don't know. Well, we won't buy one. No, not. she'll buy one. <laughs>